Hey what's going on guys you're watching FBHD Tech and today we'll take a look at the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset. I've been using this headset for a while now and I formed a pretty good opinion about it which I want to share with you. So without further ado let's get into the review. Before we talk about the headphones let's just first look what you get inside the box. With the headphones you will get an extra set of ear pads. These ear pads are made out of fabric so you have the option to choose between the synthetic leather ones and the fabric ones. The detachable microphone is included inside the box and because it's detachable it means that you can remove it from your headset and use your headset just as regular headphones if you please so. A small thing that really caught my attention is the included airplane adapter which is a really nice addition to the whole set because it enables you to use your headset on the airplane without having to buy an extra adapter. There is also a really nice carry bag included in the box which you can use to protect your headset while you're traveling. The last but more important thing is the USB audio controller which enables you to increase or decrease the volume of your headset and microphone and it also has a button to enable or disable the virtual 7.1 surround sound. Let's now talk about the build quality. The frame of the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset is made out of aluminum and it feels really solid to the touch. The construction of the headset feels really solid so you don't have to panic if you drop the headset but I actually really don't recommend that you do that. The audio cable of the headset is not detachable and it's really short comparing to the cable of other headsets but this is compensated by the length of the USB cable from the audio controller. The controller also has a clip on the back so you can clip it on your shirt, belt or any other convenient place. The modularity of the system is great because you can use it on your PC or laptop with the included USB controller box and then when you're on the road you can remove the audio jack from the controller box and use it with your smartphone. At least if your smartphone has an audio jack. The full potential of the headset is unlocked by using the USB audio controller which offers some pretty nice features. The ability to lower the microphone volume is really great because a lot of time it happens that your microphone volume is set to too high and you're in a game and you don't want to blow the ears of your teammates off. The audio controller has a mute slider on the side which enables you to easily mute the microphone when needed. Let's see how the microphone sounds like with a quick test. So what you're hearing right now is the recording of my voice from the microphone microphone of the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset. The audio isn't that great if you're comparing it with a shotgun microphone, but it offers noise cancellation and for casual gaming it suffices. Back to normal audio. If you talk about the sound quality of the headset, this is where the headset really shines. In my opinion, the sound coming from the 53mm drivers is really great with a nice low, good mid and a crisp high. Just remember to turn off the 7.1 surround sound when you're listening to music because it just sounds terrible and it's really not made for that. Speaking about the surround sound, in my opinion it sounds great. When you're in game and when you enable it by pressing the 7.1 surround sound button, the audio suddenly feels more immersive. Keep in mind that it's virtual surround sound so it's still using only two drivers. One more aspect at which this headphone really shines is that it's extremely comfortable because of the memory foam that's used. You can easily use it for longer sessions without having to deal with tiredness and head fatigue. The HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset is in my opinion the best bang for the buck right now. It's feature packed, it sounds really good, it's really comfortable and its modular design allows you not only to use it as a headset but also as headphones when needed. I use them all the time and I really couldn't be happier with them. If you want to check these headphones out, there's a link in the description down below where you can do that. Let me know if you have this headset, what you think about it or if you're considering buying it. Thanks for watching this video, if you liked it hit the thumbs up button, comment in the comment section down below, subscribe to my channel to join our tech community and hit that bell icon in order to be notified when I upload future videos.